my boys were, um, they started scouting back in Idaho and my wife would uh, go to the Cub Scout meetings. And then as Cub Scouts got shorter for my oldest son, she said, it's time for you to take over. And so uh, being a city kid, I knew very little about the outdoors. And so uh, I started taking a little training, became a Weeblos uh, leader to uh, prepare myself for the Boy Scouting program. And I've been in it ever since. Scouting has uh, given me an opportunity to take a lot of the leadership training and pass it on to the youth of the day. You know, I understand that a lot of them need uh, male role models, and I try to do that as best I can and to teach them to be, be males and take charge and, and be um, what society expects them to be and take away a lot of the uh, negative ideas that people have about youth of the day. Every scouting event is kind of a, uh, a great experience from you know, camping in the snow to rock climbing, and I'm just kind of re-enjoying my youth with the boys every time I do do things with them. I think scouting moving into the second century should be one where it um, maintains the important things that scouting was was all about. You know, trustworthy, loyal, helpful, and the the Big Twelve, and uh, and standing for something. You know, they're an organization that I stand behind because they stand for truth, honor, and integrity, and all the great things that that America should be all about. Great. I still feel so humbled. Uh, this is one of the the great achievements. I remember the first time going to a Silver Beaver. Um, ceremony and it was for one of the the scout masters for my boys and uh, I knew he'd done a, a, a really big job and then uh, understanding all the people who have earned the silver, silver beaver I says man I'm not worthy I'm very humbled to, to even be nominated uh, let alone be selected for the silver beaver so there I am.